Hello. Today I'll show you how to get started with our new GPS tracking map. Specifically, you'll learn how to log in, start live tracking, select devices and find a particular device, view recent history, interact with a position report or breadcrumb, interact with a map or a point on the map, return to the legacy map console, and how to log out. Let's get started. To log in, you need to go to preview.gps.workwave.com, and, and very soon that will just be gps.workwave.com. Enter your name and password and click login. How do we start live tracking? Well, in the new map, you don't have to do anything. Live tracking is started by default. You can tell that you're live tracking because this live box is checked on the time slider window in the upper right hand corner of the user interface. How would we find a particular device? Well, the quickest way is to start typing the device's label, whoops, start typing the device's label into the device list filter. You'll see that uh, the list will eliminate all possibilities that don't match the string you typed. And now to find that device, just click the device card. The map will center on that device's most recent report and it will animate the point. The point will bounce up and down a little bit to make sure you can see where it is. How do we look up some recent history about PSB Acura? Well, by default, we load the last 30 minutes of activity onto the web browser from the server. So all you have to do to see something within that range is to drag the time slider to the left. And you'll see that we here I'll pan out a little bit or pan pan left a little bit and you'll see that we have this is what the device we see what the device has been doing for the last 30 minutes if you'd like to see more detail about what that device like more reports about how that device has been driving just zoom in as you zoom in the map places more reports on the map as it's appropriate for the zoom level Eventually, if you zoom in far enough, you see every point that was reported by that device during that time frame. If you click on a breadcrumb, you'll see information about that point. Who recorded the point? This was PSB Acura. How fast were they driving at the time? When was the fix taken? The reverse geocoded address of the lat long that is represented by that device. And you can also do things with the point. You could send the driver a message you could send somebody else, that's dispatch, you could send somebody else to the location where that device is. You could save the device as a name place um, in your places list over here on the left. Or you could create a geofence around that location. So how could you interact with a map? Very much like the old map, if you zoom in on a location, and, and you need to zoom in enough so that it's not ambiguous to the system what you're talking about or what it is, what location you're dealing with, and you right click anywhere on the map, you'll get a pop up that allows you to see the address of that pop up, the lat long of that pop up, and it'll give you actions like dispatch, safe place, and create geofence that you can perform with that location. The map pans, you've seen me doing it already, it pans and zooms just like the old map. You drag it right and left. Uh, you can also use your arrow keys to move the map around. Uh, if you have a mouse, uh, most people find the mouse wheel is the most convenient way to zoom in and out, but you could use plus and minus. You can double click on a location to zoom in on it. There's a number of ways and they're, they're pretty typical for Google Maps. How do you get to the legacy map and the console? We haven't yet implemented all of the features on Foxtrack's legacy. We think this is a much easier map to use for 95% of what our users do. But for some of the other features, for now, you're going to need to go back to the legacy map and console. We have an options tab you can get to by clicking on the three dots over here in this panel. And from this options tab, you can just click console to go to the old maps console and there you have all the functions that you ever used to have on the old map. You can do the same thing with, uh, with to get to the old map instead of the console. And now to log out all you have to do is click this log out button. And there's one thing I forgot to tell you about. If you'd like to if you'd like this web browser to always just log into the map without prompting you for a password you can check this remember login button. And just remember that having remember login checked is incompatible with logging out. So if you want to 
log out and forget log forget your login you need to uncheck that box and then click login so that's all I have for you I hope this has been informative if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to contact us thank you for watching